All right, 713, small businesses in Kailua are struggling, and residents and business owners are pointing mainly at one culprit. Stuart Yurton joins us now. <laughs> and Stuart, this great article, and you started with the closing of a taqueria, and yes. you talked to the public and got their sentiment. What are yes. they saying about this? So they're saying they're concerned about small businesses in Kailua closing. You know, the, the issue is we have small businesses like the taqueria, it closes down, it lo the community loses something, and they're wondering what's going on here. Yeah. And they're pointing to um, the landlord, Alexander and Baldwin. Okay. Well, we called the taqueria and they said, well, it's a lot more complicated than that. Yeah. Yes, the lease is one factor, but uh, many other things have gone into it. Costs of goods have increased, costs of labor have increased, everything's going up and it's just harder to do business. Yeah, uh, to your point, supply costs, you're talking about importing peppers from Mexico. Yeah, he was talking about importing things from Mexico, which they do, it's even that's more expensive. Yeah, uh, obviously uh, this is a part of a bigger picture. And, and, and you spoke to AMB themselves, what did they have yeah. to say about that? They said, look, we really want to support businesses here, we want to support our current tenants. When we have lease renewals, we will actually uh, try to tailor the lease to fit their business to make sure they succeed. Yeah, strong accusations though. Yes. So, so what, what about the, the other businesses themselves? What have, what have they felt? Other businesses said, look, it's very hard. It's very hard to negotiate. Uh, they're the dominant landlord. We don't have a lot of ch other choices in Kailua and it's just very hard. Yeah, in fact, I think you quoted one of the businesses that said they sit down with A&B and they said this is not a negotiation which is something that AMB has refuted. Yes, the businesses said, we don't feel like this is a negotiation. That we sit down, we talk to them, we don't have a lot of choices. The rents increase when there's a renewal. Alexander and Baldwin said that's not necessarily the case. The company also pointed out that they have a number of new businesses coming in there. They've had, recently had um, all sorts of things coming in. So it's, it's an ebb and flow. It's not necessarily going in one direction. But look, the bottom line is it's very hard to run a restaurant. Profit margins have gone down a lot. They were right. always narrow. Now they're even smaller. And one wrong step, and as one of the restaurant owners said, you're having to reach into your own pocket and pay for things. And it's just, it's very, very hard right now. Yeah, and, and can you give us this stat? I, I think it was, it was really low. We're talking about the margin of profit. Yeah, right? the profit margin, before the pandemic, I was told if a business is doing really well, it could be 10%. Now it might be 3%. Wow. And then also, remember, you have, they have to increase costs for us to pay for things. And there's only so much they want to increase the cost. They say, if we keep doing this, people just won't pay. Yeah. And we see it. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, all over the island. So it, uh, either which way you stand, it, it's a very interesting read. Uh, Stuart, thanks for the research. and thanks Thank for you the so much. Yeah, thank you. By the way, you can read the full article. It's on civilbeat.org, or you can text 66866 to get their newsletter. We'll be right back.